Now we learn the core of digital usefulness index. Digital usefulness index has to be learned around two dimensions. First dimension is price, low price to high price. Second dimension is customer involvement, low customer involvement to high customer involvement. This gives you four quadrants like this, one, two, three, four. Now let's understand the third quadrant, which is low price and low customer involvement. Let me take one example. A typical telecom company product, which is like a mobile recharge, or you can take maybe, you know, something like a mobile accessory. These would be products that are standardized, hence low customer involvement and are low priced in nature. Now, these products require a different type of marketing. Over here, the most important deliverable for all sectors in this quadrant is reach. I want to maximize reach if I were a telecom company, right? Now, to deliver reach, what do I do? I would create a plan that involves TV if I have the budgets. If I don't have the budgets, then I would maximize my reach using YouTube, using other video channels and perhaps using banner ads. That would be my go-to strategy. I would not invest as much money into Google wherein cost per click is very high, but I would look at channels that deliver me reach to my target audience. This is the way I would behave if I were a business in this third quadrant. Now let's look at the second quadrant. Second quadrant is low price, but high customer involvement. Now, what does low price mean? Low price means different things in different countries. For example, if you are, if you are in the US, low price could be anything that is between zero to $15 could be low price, right? Now in this sector, which is low price and high involvement, a lot of FMCG products will be there. All your biscuits, shampoos, soaps, toothpaste. Now, what is the typical characteristic of these businesses? The typical characteristic is that the final mode of purchase in many a case is that we go to the supermarket and buy these products. Why? Because you need to touch and feel these products. Obviously, in some of the advanced countries, instance of online delivery is increasing, but still majority of purchase happens at the point of purchase like a supermarket, a hypermarket and so on and so forth. Hence, over here, as a marketer, my core deliverable is to increase top of mind recall. Now, what is top of mind recall you ask? Top of mind recall is whether your customer remembers your brand when he or she is at the point of purchase. How do I do that? You would do top of mind recall optimization by ensuring that you are targeting the right customers and delivering a base amount of reach and then delivering frequency to those customers to ensure that this customer is reminded about your product again and again. For doing this, as an FMCG guy, I would want to create communities. I would want to create a cohort of users which is liking my product. For, in, for example, a Facebook page. For example, a YouTube channel. Over here, I would want to develop a large subscriber base and ensure that they keep consuming my content on a repeated basis which ensures top of mind recall. Now, for doing this, what do I do? I need a base level reach and then I need a frequency. So over here, my deliverable will be great content, which is delivered on a periodic basis to the audiences and then engagement with the audiences. This is what I would want to do. For this, I would use a mix of YouTube, Facebook, Facebook, Instagram, other social net networks and I would also top it up with relevant searches that a customer is doing. This is about quadrant two. Now let's look at quadrant four. In quadrant four, you would have high price, but low involvement. What is a typical example of this? A typical example of this is a flight ticket. A flight ticket will be high price, but low involvement because the product is largely standardized. Hence, what I need over here is I need to measure conversion as a metric. Now for conversion, what do I need? I need both reach and frequency. I need reach to the target audience because my target audience will be smaller. People who afford a high price product is lower. So I need targeted reach. And then within the targeted reach, I need to deliver frequency whenever the customer is in the decision making process of buying a product or a competition. Now to do this, what do I do? I would need to treat digital marketing as a sales channel. For this, I would want to optimize my investments in Google AdWords, in search, in Google AdSense, then try to target these users on YouTube or Facebook again and again to keep reminding them 
that this product is the best. I will also keep giving offers, discounts, anything else that influences the user to make a purchase on my product rather than my competition. That's what I would do in quadrant four. Now coming to quadrant one, as far as quadrant one is concerned, this is a high price and high involvement quadrant. Multiple sectors are there in this quadrant, right from education, automobile, real estate, B2B, so many sectors lie in this quadrant. Enterprise, all these sectors lie in this quadrant. Over here, what do they want? If you think about it, the purchase decision and the money exchange happens offline in this case. So as a business, what does the expectation from digital marketing? The expectation from digital marketing is to deliver a scalable pool of relevant leads. Now, how do I do that? For delivering scalable pool of relevant leads, I will need to deliver reach and I would need to remind the customer to keep delivering the lead. Now, the lead is delivered in different ways in different contexts. For example, an education app would want the customer to download the app and sign up. An automobile company would want the, want the customer to do a test drive. A real estate company would want the customer to visit the site and look at the product. There are different ways in which leads can get manifested in this quadrant. Hence, I would want to deliver targeted reach and scalable way of delivering relevant leads in this as a marketing goal. Now, you have understood the core concept of Digital Usefulness Index. Let's go in deeper. Take relevant examples from all of these quadrants to make this even more clear. I hope this makes this repeating. I hope this framework makes it very, very simple and straightforward as to how do I use digital marketing as a channel for my business. See you after the examples. I hope you are loving this course from Programming Hub. Keep learning and keep sharing. To learn more from us, hit on the subscribe button and press the bell icon so that you get the latest updates from Programming Hub.